Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and this is Evening Prayer for Saturday, April the 30th, 2011. The scripture for this service, Psalm 104, John chapter 16, verse 16 to 33, and the Song of Mary, Luke 1, verse 46 to 55. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul. Alleluia. Psalm 104. Bless Yahweh, my soul. Beloved God, how great you are, clothed in majesty and glory, wrapped in light as in a robe. You stretch the heavens like a tent. Above the rains you build your dwelling. You make the cloud your chariot, and you walk on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers, and flashy fire your servants. You founded the earth on its base to stand firm from age to age. You wrapped it with the ocean like a cloak. The waters stood higher than the mountains. At your threat they took flight. At the voice of your thunder they fled. They rose over the mountains and flowed down to the place that you had appointed. You set limits they may not pass, lest they return to cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow in between the hills. They give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. On their banks dwell the birds of heaven. From the branches they sing their song. From your dwelling you water the hills. Earth drinks its fill of your gift. You make the grass grow for the cattle and the plants to serve our needs, that we may bring forth bread from the earth and wine to cheer our hearts, oil to make our faces shine and bread to strengthen our hearts. Your trees drink their fill, the cedars you planted on Lebanon. There the birds build their nests. On the treetop the stork has her home. The goats find a home on the mountains and rabbits hide in the rocks. You made the moon to mark the months. The sun knows the time for its setting. When you spread the darkness, it is night, and all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey and ask their food from you. At the rising of the sun, they steal away and go to rest in their dens. People go out to their work to labor till evening falls. How many are your works, O Most High? In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. There is the sea, vast and wide, with its moving swarms past counting, living things small and great. The ships are moving there, and the monsters you made to play with. All of those look to you, to give them their food in due season. You give it, and they gather it. You open your hand, they have their fill. You hide your face, they are dismayed. You take back their spirit, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit, and they are recreated, and you renew the face of the earth. May your glory last forever. May you rejoice in creation. You look on the earth, and it trembles. At your touch, the mountains send forth smoke. I sing to you all my life. Make music to my God while I live. May my thoughts be pleasing to you, and I find my joy in you. Let sinners vanish from the earth, and the wicked exist no more. Bless Yahweh, my soul. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 16, beginning at verse 16. A little while, and you will no longer see me, and a little while, and you will see me. Then some of his disciples said to one another, What does he mean by saying to us, A little while, and you will no longer see me, and again a little while, and you will see me? and because I am going to the Father. They said, What does he mean by this a little while? 
We do not know what he is talking about. Jesus knew what they wanted to ask him. So he said to them, Are you discussing among yourselves what I meant when I said a little while and you will no longer see me, and again a little while and you will see me? Very truly I tell you, you will weep and mourn, but the world will rejoice. You will have pain, but your pain will turn to joy. When a woman is in labor, she has pain, because her hour has come. But when her child is born, she no longer remembers the anguish because of the joy of having brought a human being into the world. So you have pain now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. On that day you will ask nothing of me. Very truly I tell you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have said these things to you in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but will tell you plainly of the Father. On that day you will ask in my name. I do not say to you that I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Again I am leaving the world and am going to the Father. His disciples said, Yes, now you are speaking plainly, not in any figure of speech. Now we know that you know all things and do not need to have anyone question you. By this we believe that you came from God. And Jesus answered them, Do you now believe? The hour is coming, indeed it has come, when you will be scattered, each one to his home, and you will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have said this to you so that, it, so that in me you may have peace. In the world you face persecution, but take courage, for I have conquered the world. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and intercessions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers in righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O God, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us by your Holy Spirit and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Jesus Christ is risen. Alleluia. The Song of Mary. My soul proclaims your greatness. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You have done great things for me, holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you in every generation. You have shown the strength of your arm. You have scattered the proud in their conceit. You have cast down the mighty from their thrones. You lifted the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant, Israel. For you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah and their children forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Jesus Christ is risen. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul, 
And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.